Alright, so what we're doing today is we're using an eggplant chart from my garden and we're going to infuse it with Holy America's Guacamole's Minis. Got this a present from my mom. And what we're going to do, we're going to put these delicious guacamoles, you can see they're delicious looking, on top of the eggplant. Yeah, they'll be looking just like this on top of the eggplant. Let me see how I put together this meal. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living! Now you're going to be using a cast iron pan and you're going to put it in the stove, on your stove top. And what you're going to do is to start it off, you're going to put in organic diced tomatoes from Kirkland. Kirkland is the Sam's Club brand. When you buy from Kirkland, you have lots of tomatoes on hand because they come in like in a six pack or a 12 pack. So you've got plenty of them. Okay. Now what I'm doing a little bit different is normally I would have like two of these cans. I would boil it over the stove top and then I would lay on top this chard and then eventually I will put on the eggplant. What I'm doing different is I'm adding a can of unsp paste, the tomato paste with basil, garlic and oregano. And uh, it's got 270 milligrams of salt. Let's see, the other one had, this one had 140 milligrams of salt. So you don't need any more salt because between the two of them you're adding 310 milligrams of salt. That's an acceptable amount of salt for the entire dish, but this is a dish for like many meals, so the salt won't, won't really interfere. Of course, if you start adding the, uh, let's see how much salt is in this, 240 milligrams per each of these, which is uh, guacamole sauce, then it can start to climb, then, you, then it can be uncomfortable. But you can use some other kind of, of uh, topping if you don't want to use this. All right, or you cannot use this and just use diced tomatoes, and that was a lot less salt than the paste that I'm putting in. Okay, so we're gonna open this can and put it in. This is just easy. Not saying that you can't add basil or garlic or oregano. Spices are easy enough to get. But this is just a very, very fast, easy meal. Now this is all charred. It's already been washed. But sometimes I miss it and I go to the store and I look for it. Like the other day I was at, I was at Sprouts and I noticed they had rainbow char for a really good price. And I was gonna make it, get it. And my wife said, well, wait a minute you want to use up what you got first of course she's right you know so we're gonna just gonna show you you could use I just use scissors it's easier but you could use a knife you see me do that scissors just happen to be nearby Next, take your eggplant. See, this is a, ma a female. That means there are not going to be as many seeds as a male. Cut off the very ends. Especially this end. Now, not everybody does this. This is just the way I do it. Then you're going to cut about three quarters to an inch. Like, okay, maybe three eighths of an inch. You want to try to cut them the same size as possible. That means they'll all cook well together. The only reason I said that you should cut them, make sure the stickers are off, a little bit is because, this what I'm doing is I'm cutting the edge here so that this lays flat while I cut it and it doesn't move on me. 
is that way it'll, it'll all cook well the same. It's the same, same thicknesses, they'll cook at the same time. It's all different thicknesses, each piece will cook differently. Of course, when they get to be this small, then it's just the best you can do. Okay, now the next step we're gonna do is put that plastic piece back on top so you don't mess up your board. Because this is gonna be messy. Then you're gonna put each piece like this, and you're gonna apply. Now, I don't know if, I don't, I do tell you, if you watch a lot of my videos, Okay, so I'm not putting salt on this. A lot of people, they don't like the moisture in here. We're gonna be putting in moisture, so it doesn't make much sense. They put salt on it, it draws off the, the moisture out of it. That's the end of it. Here we're gonna be playing, putting the guacamole moisture right on top. So you open up your container, get your spatula, like this, and you're just gonna lay a little bit on each of them. And we just put a little bit on it at first and then I'll go back and spread it. Now if you had breadcrumbs what you could do is use the guacamole similar to like if you're putting an egg wash and that's another alternative to using eggs especially in vegan fare, vegan foods. See, like one container did the entire eggplant. And it's just, you want a nice even piece. You want that, that guacamole to go all over the top of it. You're just doing the top layer. Just like you're creating a, a masterpiece. Because the meal is your masterpiece. So it's cooking, so I'm going to put up the heat a little bit more, and then we're just going to wait for this, this dark green leans to turn dark green. When that happens, then we put the, the, the eggplant in between here, like little holes like this, it'll absorb from the bottom and it'll just be incredibly delicious. Right before the chard is ready, place in your eggplant in. Now you're going to have some left over. What you're going to do with that? You're gonna save that. This is gonna be for your dinner tonight. Okay, so when this is cooked, the eggplant will be ready and you'll be able to serve it and I'll show you what it looks like on a plate. If you want it to cook faster, use one of these glass pans or this one is not made for that, but it works just fine. As you find the center spot, it's gonna act just fine and it'll just cook better. Now, if it starts bubbling, you can see how it's cooking like that. Just lower the heat a little bit. I'm now at two and a half. That's because the cast iron pan is very hot. Set your timer for, this is gonna take about half an hour to 45 minutes to cook. So set it for half an hour and then check with the fork. If it goes right through, it's ready to eat. See, this doesn't go through. That's because it's not cooked. But when it's ready to cook, it'll go right through and that's when you know it's ready to eat. So store your extra ones in a plastic container. Now it would be ideal if they didn't really touch each other, but you know what, they're gonna cook each other on top of each other anyway. Save another one of these containers, keep it handy, in case you do mess up the top so that you can go back and open another container and then you can always use it with chips. You know, or put a thicker layer there. So this is all ready for tomorrow's leftovers. Put a cover on it and put it in your fridge. Now you can't leave that eggplant in there very long. It will be good for tomorrow. But if you leave it too long, it will dark darken and it won't taste good. So you can see it's been bubbling, it's cooking the bottoms. You can test it. And you can see it's not giving up, it's not giving any away. So it's only been five minutes. It was just like an experiment to see what would happen. It's gonna cook from the bottom and with the avocado, or in this case, the guacamole sauce on the top, it's just gonna add a wonderful, incredible flavor. You just can't, I can't wait to dig into this wonderful dish. Okay, so if you can't take a fork and stick it in because it doesn't cooperate, but watch this, if you put it underneath, 
a spatula. And you see how easy the fork goes in? That's how you know it's ready. So this is ready to eat. Now we're gonna plate it. So it looks like this. What you do is you put the tomato charred sauce on the bottom and you're putting your eggplant with the guacamole topping on the top. Now, guacamole turns brown when it gets hot. That's why it looks got that little look to it. It's not that beautiful bright green. Nothing stops you though of doing this. Getting a fresh container and then taking a little bit of a dollop and put it right on top like that. And it's going to have that wonderful avocado infused into the eggplant and on top of that, from the bottom, it cooked up the tomato and Swiss chard. This makes a really good meal. Now, let's, let me show you what it looks like when I eat. So then, we cut it up. Make sure you have some of your fresh avocado on it. This is just the eggplant. It's got a marvelous uh, tomato taste to it. And then you want to take some of the bottom and the eggplant, which in this case would be the tomato, chard, and the eggplant. Make sure you blow on it because it's going to be cold, hot. And without the avocado sauce, then it has the flavor of what is not in the sauce, which is the Swiss chard and the tomato sauce. So this is a delight, delightful vegan meal. Everything is fine about it. Do make sure that this has got, when I checked the ingredients on this, I made sure it was as close to being vegan as possible. It doesn't say vegan on the cover, but it does have distilled vinegar, contains 2% or less of water, jalapeno pepper, salt, dehydrated onions, and granulated garlic. So. It doesn't taste like it's got any oil in it. It just tastes to me like avocados. But if you don't like taking a chance on buying the store bought, just simply cut an avocado on the top. It'll be wonderful. And you can serve it to your friends. All right, I'm gonna show you how I store it. Okay, so you notice they just kind of pile all on top of each other. Don't worry, when you get your plate and you get ready, warm it all up in the microwave or your stove top, then separate your eggplant from it and take off the top off like I just did there and then just put a new more of guacamole or an avocado over the top of it it's all cooked so you're just gonna be lightly warming it up and it's gonna be a very good meal and it's good for another good day here where you can share with your family well thank you very much for watching and we do look forward to seeing you in our next video if you like this channel please subscribe if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.